If you are new to BSPK, be sure to use the referral code DWARFISM when logging in for the first time. It'll ask you how you found out about the server. Click on the YouTube section and type in my name to be entered into a giveaway picked at the end of the month for five winners for some awesome loot. Good luck. Pimple, you are not complex. I'm sorry, I am not impressed. Back, back on my bullshit again. I'm having way too much fun. I'm in a section with 7K bosses around me. I swear I can't only touch one. What is going on guys, it is Dwarfism, and today we are on Beast PK with another video for you guys. We're going to be checking out the boss or the PVM monster, Tormented Beasts. They've just been announced to Beast PK about maybe about a week ago now, and a friend of mine, Zach TX, made a video on the entire update they did, so I'm going to link his video in the description down below if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, I was going to make a video on all the updates, but I guess I'm a little too late for that since he already made one. He did a really good job on it, so I thought I would give him the credit. So you guys should check out his video if you haven't already, or if you want to see any of the new updates. I'm Mainly going to be checking out tormented beasts in this video so uh let's get right into it and, and kind of show you guys how to get there at least the kind of gear that i'm using when i'm going to be fighting them and then maybe some of the drop rates and we're going to kill some of them test it out and see see the kind of loot we can get of course now i am going to be doing a giveaway this video guys for five bill um it's going to be one winner and all you have to do is leave your in-game name in the comment section down below leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new to my channel new to my channel if you are new to my channel um that's all you guys have to do to enter that giveaway if you guys are new to bspk in general be sure to type in my referral code uh when you first log into the server it'll ask you how you found out about the server click on the little youtube section and then type in my name dwarfism you can see it right here it gives you guys some loot when you first log into the game but it also enters you into a giveaway for five winners picked at the end of the month for some juicy loot but yeah let's get right into it guys let's go ahead and uh show you guys how to get to tormented beasts and, and stuff like that now there are two ways to get to the slayer area which is the only way to get to tormented beasts you can either click on the slayer like skill here and teleport to the training area or you can click on the spirit tree and click on slayer here and accept you're gonna need a requirement of 95 slayer in order to kill the tormented beast guys so be sure you get that uh they revamped everything about slayer they give you more money they give you a little box every time or not every time but high percent chance of getting a box they give you some juicy loot when you kill your your monster task so there's a lot of stuff you guys can get out there with slayer now that it's revamped and everything but for now we're gonna go and teleport to the cave entrance as you can see or we're gonna walk over and talk to it uh we're gonna go to the lair and we're going to go to the tormented lair. All right, so we have spawned into the tormented lair. As you can see, there's a couple people here with their range gear on, just like I am. Of course, they are AFK or something. I'm not too sure. But as you guys can see, uh, it is not an aggressive boss or a monster. I don't know if it's really a boss, but let's go ahead and check out the drop rates. So we've got a tormented rapier at 0.3%. Tormented Launcher at 0.25%. The Tormented Whip is at 0.35%. And then we've got Dragon Darts in here. Uh, Abyssal Whip is kind of useless. Uh, Law Runes, some other garbage stuff. Magic Longbow, 3%. Don't know why that's there. Dragon Claws and Armored Owl Gods were at 1%. And we also have the Enchanted Keys, three of them, which you can get also at a 1%. So, I mean, some pretty cool loot in here, guys. So, their Tormented stuff is also very expensive. I think it's all best in slot items. Let me go ahead and check out the donor store and show you guys, I guess, how much they cost and then the uh, bonuses they give you and what, why why they're important and stuff. All right, so this may look a little weird on your screen because I made this, the web client a little bit smaller, but um, as you can see, these things are pretty expensive. Expensive. It goes from worst to best, so the whip is the worst out of the three, rapier is the second worst, and then the best one is the longsword. Obviously, you can tell by the price points, but uh, it's one of the best items in game. It hits twice as fast as the whip, and it has a 40% chance of hitting twice. Um, if you don't know what that means, basically, if let's say you're hitting it, you, you hit that 40% chance of hitting it twice, you hit a 40 on that hit, you end up hitting 80 damage, it'll show up as 240s instead, which is pretty cool. We also have the tormented rapier, same, same idea, but it gives you a better bonus. And then the long sword's better than that as well. So I think it's really cool. I don't unfortunately have any of these items. These things are yeah, so expensive in game. And, and I recently just lost my absolute bank boys. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and kill some of these things. I'm not too sure how many I'm going to kill. But hopefully we can get a drop. I'm not hoping to stay here very long. But you can see we've got players over here killing it with melee. I heard their range is much better. So we're going to try that out. Uh, they only have 2,200 hit points, which is pretty cool. And uh, hopefully we can kill this thing pretty fast. They do have poison, unfortunately, so I need to make sure I don't die. But looks like soul split is a very important uh, prayer to have on. Um, because I would have been dead. I would have been dead long ago. Now, of course, since these items are just new into the game, at least for like about a week now. And uh, they are best in slot items. Uh, you're obviously going to not see a lot of them in game right now. Because people haven't, either haven't bought them or haven't gotten them as a drop. Um, and they're also pretty difficult. These guys are pretty difficult to kill. I mean, I have to use a lot of restores when I'm killing it because of the uh, soul split that I'm using. Uh, but it also has poison and it, I don't know. These guys are pretty difficult. I mean, I killed that guy pretty fast, but I am using like the best in slot range gear. 
Um, so that does kind of make it a little bit easier. I'm probably going to get maybe like 10, 15, maybe 25 kills and see how we do. I didn't really want to make this a loot from video. I just want to show you guys and emphasize the, the new items that have just come out and, and talk about Tormented Beasts a little bit more. I do unfortunately have to kill 5,000 of these things in order to get my, com my comp cape. So we may have to be here for a while uh i'm not planning on staying here for a while for this video um but i am planning to kill this thing uh, kill a bunch of these things uh pretty soon so we just ended up getting a dragon dart drop it's in 80 percent um so obviously it's not very rare at all uh but it is pretty cool to get those because i can put those into my blowpipe and uh try to get some more kills so i'll be back probably when i get 25 kills i'll have all the loot for you guys to show you uh keep in mind that i do have a gold octo on so i do get a 0.4 percent increase on my drops every kill uh, besides that guys, I will see you guys in about 25 kills. Alright, and that's gonna be the 25 kills guys. I mean, obviously it's only 25 kills. It took me 5-10 minutes, maybe. Um, but this is the kind of loot that we got guys. This is the kind of loot that you probably could expect if you're doing a bunch more of them. Obviously, it's probably not the most efficient thing. I don't have a drop catcher on. I do have the Octo F on, so that does help out a lot to teleport home. Because this is, that stuff is actually pretty spooky, so we're gonna teleport home do our restores and stuff but this is the kind of loot that we got you guys can kind of look forward to it almost 3,000 dragon darts 800 law runes 40 dragon bones 273 coal and three abyssal whips uh, it's not really much to look forward to really the only reason you'd want to kill tormented uh, beast is because you would want one of the items one of the three items so uh, but yeah that's about everything I want to cover in this video guys it's gonna be a semi short video I just wanted to make sure you guys knew it was out there it's a possibility uh, the requirements for it are kind of high you have to have 95 slayer you do need at least some decent gear if you want to kill a decent amount of them um, but yeah, best of luck to all you guys and all your and all your endeavors if you guys are deciding to go and kill this thing I just want to inform you guys and let you know it's out there This isn't an update video, but I just want to let you know They also have slayer in the game So I recommend checking out the uh, update thread I'll put that also in the description as well along with uh, the winner for my last videos giveaway. So um, Yeah, guys hope you did enjoy this video. I will see you guys in the next one Be sure to enter the giveaway that I'm doing every single video for five bill and uh, yeah, best of luck guys. Peace